live from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's Keto Cooking. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Tom Garvey, the Keto Cook. Today is Easter Sunday, so we're going to be with my family, and we're going to have our traditional turkey, ham, and all the fixings that go along with it. Spend time with the family. But this is my Saturday, and this is what we had uh, real quick, nice and easy. Uh, making a nice tomato sauce. We're going to have some eggplant parmesan. All right. Now, but that's keto style we're doing. It. So into my pot, I'm going to put some olive oil. Four or five cloves of garlic. Chop, rough chop. I'm going to add some wheat Italian, Italian seasoning from Not For Nothing Homestead. Uh, thank you, Ginger. Appreciate it. And also I'm going to be adding in some Mexican oregano. One can of crushed tomatoes. A little bit of water. That's it. Nothing else. That's the way I like my sauce. I like the taste of tomatoes. Uh, just the little essence of the garlic and, and the Ita uh, Italian seasoning. And the oregano is all I need. You can do whatever you want with it, but that's how I'm doing it. Now, it's going to cook probably 45 minutes to an hour. It's a, a little bit. I call it a utility sauce. I can use it with anything. Just a little bit of water, just to rinse off the sides of the can. Now, on the other side of the stove, I have eggplant that I'm grilling up. Now, normally, I would take that, grill it, marinate it in olive oil, basil, oregano, and also garlic, and let that sit for anywhere from 24 to 72 hours. Uh, it's great cold, or you can also make a beautiful eggplant rollantini. So, but we're going to, today we're going to be making uh, a small plate or a small dish of eggplant parm. And the rest we will freezer pack and use for another day. Now, like I said, getting back into the sauce here. <clears throat> now, it's cooking down nice. The aromas are unbelievable. I'm going to add a little bit more of my Mexican oregano. Good stuff. I tell you, give it a try. Really, really good. Now let's also get a cover put off to the side. In a glass Pyrex dish, or a smaller one, I will put some sauce on the bottom of the glass dish, and then I'll start layering in the eggplant. This is not going to be high, it's not going to be a lot. All right. Very simple eggplant. Mozzarella cheese, sliced thin. And then we're just going to put some layers together. And it'll go into a 350 degree oven. Stay tuned. Now, not to bore you to uh, tears, I'm going to speed this process up a little bit. Now, we're getting older, and <laughs> me and Marie were talking the other day about old traditions our family used to do, and uh, I tell you what, pretty similar. Uh, I'm Irish, and uh, Marie's Italian, but I remember my grandmother, uh, when we cooked anything over Easter weekend, she always would somehow or another make a cross on, on the food. It sort of stuck with me. Uh, so, yeah, there it is. Now, this is going to go into the oven. Like I said, 350 degrees. 
uh, probably for 45 minutes I wouldn't go too much longer because uh, like I said it's not very thick and everything's pretty much pretty much cooked other than just melting the cheese everything's really well there it is and I gotta tell you uh, this was this was pretty good pretty quick um, and you know what it tasted really well that was our Saturday and we're getting ready now for uh, today so hey listen I'm gonna thank everybody for uh, throughout these, these past couple months here uh, I appreciate all the subscribers I appreciate everybody that's uh, affiliated with my channel and well from the both of us I'm Tom Garber the Keto Cook and Meg's Mysteries we uh, appreciate you very much and with that said hey listen have a happy Easter <laughs>